stars in our galaxy. And you could count a hundred stars per minute, and you kept counting. It would require over 2,000 years to count all of the stars in our galaxy. That's one galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy. In the bucket of the Big Dipper, the scientists have identified nearly a million galaxies just there. The Word of God says that God opens and closes the heavens like a curtain. He hangs the stars in their space and he calls them by name. We're starting over. It says the word of God says that God opens. <coughs> he hangs the stars in their space and he calls them by name. How big is our God? How mighty, how powerful is our God? And yet these powerful hands of God that can hold it all together, those hands became the hands of a little child. The psalmist wrote, when I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place. Jesus became a simple cell. Mary was impregnated by the Holy Spirit. The Bible says that in the womb, Jesus developed. When he was born, those little hands reached up and grabbed the finger of his mother, Mary, of his stepfather, Joseph. And those little hands grew up into manhood. And those hands today, friends, are no longer little. They're big, and they're mighty to save. Please take your Bible and turn with me to the book of Isaiah, chapter 9. Isaiah, chapter 9. The prophet Isaiah records a prophecy that announces the birth of the messianic king. You know, the first question in the New Testament is, where is he born king of the Jews? Which is interesting, because the first question in the Old Testament is God searching for man after the fall, where God asks the question, where are you? And so we see that scripture is really a story of searching. God searching for humanity. When the messianic king is born, you have the shepherds, the wise men, searching for him. In Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6, the, the prophet Isaiah records and announces the birth of the Messianic King some seven centuries before the birth of Christ. And it says, for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government, the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. You know, I think of this extraordinary verse. For to us a child is born, unto us a son is given. What child is this? Let us be sure of what is being said here. The son is not born. The son eternally existed and is given. What do you say? The child is born and entered our time and space. What child is this where the government, or that is the rulership, the empire, would be placed and rest upon his shoulders? That is what we will be singing today, that exploring that question. That prestigious carol, what child is this, which was first penned as a, as a poem back in 1865, and it answers that question, this, this is Christ the King, whom shepherds guard and angels sing. For unto those who are confused and weary, those who do not know where to turn, 
those who may be in great confusion, God gives to us a son, a wonderful counselor. For those who are powerless, for those who feel bereft and alone, those who feel that the battles of life are too much, God gives a son, the mighty God. To those who are fatherless, who feel that no one takes notice of you, who are socially disconnected, God gives us a son, an everlasting father. To those of us who feel angst or restlessness, who are facing inner turmoil or experiencing some conflict, God gives to us his son, the prince of peace. And regarding this son, who created all things and is before all things, and through whom things are held together, the Bible tells us this in Colossians 1.19, for God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him. To think that God would put all of the qualities and the characteristics that compose divinity and God would be packed into this child, the child king, Jesus. My dear friends, as the shepherds searched for this child king, the lowly shepherds, the wealthy wise men, today there is that question that burns, what child is this? But the question this morning, beloved, is what is this child to you? You see, we're going to take a few moments in just a little bit to greet one another and to tell your neighbor, I'm glad you're here. But we're also going to answer that question with one another. What is this child to you? He is the one who came to lay his life down for me. He is my protector and my provider. He is my shepherd. He's the one who is worthy of all my worship. He is my true Lord and Savior. Just what exactly is this child to you? And so, Athelton family, we're going to stand, let us greet one another, and let us look for those new and unfamiliar faces to tell them, I'm glad you're here. And let's take just a few moments to answer that question for one another. What is this child to you? Thank you. 